Good morning. It is November 22nd. This is Raven. And we are going to do a reading uh, based on agate today. I felt called to use the stones and these agates in particular. So agate is a healer, a real healer. Just when I listen to this stone, it sounds... Um, I don't know, like sweet, listening, compassionate. There's a lot of patience in agate. Agate comes in all shapes, but I mean, all shapes, of course, and sizes. But what we're working with today is blue lace agate. So this can be a yin or a yang stone. In this case, we're getting yin. We've got some definite yins. These two stones blue lace agate I often use on people's ovaries and in their um, lower chakras to kind of heal sexual trauma and I don't know there's something about it that really um, works well with creativity and all of that life force stuff and here's a bigger one um, this one is a fun Guy, thank you for helping us, Mr. Blue Lace Agate. Interesting, I'm getting a little more of a yang, but um, this is got a lot of fairy energy in it, and sort of you know, the fae can be dark and powerful, the fae can be bright and childlike and just absolutely joyful. And in this case, um, I'm getting a lot of joy. So there's some movement in these stones as well as some stillness. So we're just going to look through how that feels on this day. So these are our three friends and our three friends today. Um, body, healing, patience, and joy. And we have the three of fire, three of wands. Messenger of fire is the knight of wands. And the empress is the empress. God, she's gorgeous here. So the three of fire in this deck is, you might remember it from traditional depictions as the guy standing out, looking out on his fleet, like standing up on a hill charting a course forward in this case <laughs> it's like an explorer lady in a nautilus shell and in in both cases the theme is kind of exploration the theme is bravery to some extent new horizons um you know, I like this one because it looks like she's going places and the in the other one he looks like he's plotting going places and figuring out that he needs to go. But I do think that the Three of Fire is an active card. Threes are active in tarot. They are um, generation happening, creativity happening. So there is a lot of creativity in this card and this is what's being called for in physical health today. Think of all of the ways that your body might need your attention or may maybe is calling for you to listen to what it needs to tell you that it needs <laughs> you know sometimes it can go the other way um and in all cases i think this is just really calling for doing something differently than you've done it before discovering a new way of being in the body of seeking health of um ex of experiencing vitality specifically i'm feeling that i've been training circus for hundreds of years um and i feel that i'm moving away from it and i don't know what else it is yet that i need to do but here it is it's we're all being called into like uh finding the next frontier in feeling ourselves in the body, especially that part of us that is got that vitality 
and I, I know this is hard to hear if you are extremely sick or in a chronic condition of some kind. Um, so this is vitality wherever it meets your situation, of course. You know, even if it's sitting in the sunshine and feeling the vitality through something other than your own life force. Yeah, yeah. Finding new ways to step into that today. Um, and for patience, for patience, this one is just cracking me up. This is the messenger of fire, meaning the knight of wands. Um, the fiery part of fire, the fiery part of fire for patience. Interesting. Paired with this go get them exploration. Um, you know, knights have a purpose. Knights, um, or messengers in this case, they operate well under, um, having a mission in hand. This is kind of the, the modus operandi of, um, the fire element within these other elements. And when you have fire of fire, you get charisma, you get anger, impatience, <laughs> you get, um, you get aggression in positive and negative ways. Maybe not aggression, assertiveness, right? You get assertiveness. Um, we have a Saint Lucy here. Saint Lucy, of course, is the replacement saint for an ancient pagan tradition. I believe this is a Yule tradition. I could be wrong with the um, crown of candles, but I I'm interested to look more into this um, this imagery. But certainly, it's you know fire in the head, fire as the crown, fire as the thing that motivates and bring you forward. And when it comes to patience, I, this could go either way. This could be kind of like a warning or this could be, um, maybe a temperer, you know, like being tempered in the fire to be made stronger. Um, to be made more patience going through a bit of fire today. Yeah, I can definitely see that coming up in my life. Um, yeah, going, I want to say that. I'm feeling that this is a bit of going through the fiery part of fire in our own personalities. And that is the passageway on this particular day to um, finding what patience really means. And patience is waiting, especially as I'm feeling it from these stones. There's just kind of like a stillness. There's a being with instead of imposing upon. Um, there's a lot of humility and patience. Um, and you don't think of the Knight of Wands as the most humility centric character in the tarot, but um, here we have it. This is an interesting paradox. I do like it. And then on the other side of that, um, we had patient, we had healing and patience and joy. The reason I chose joy for these agates is that my first time experiencing that through them is that I got this real like fairy energy, as I said, in the big one. And what came through that was Empress. So this is the council for the day. This is how to access that particular kind of joy that I'm talking about is like a really mm, sparkly young child um, available to energy and buoyancy. I mean, this is just buoyancy, buoyancy, buoyancy. At least the joy was. The Empress is receptivity. It's being receptive. There is something very watery in the Empress. Gosh, I wish I knew her um, astrological right now. Got some more studying to do myself. But here she is with a giant lotus on her head as well as grasping these stalks. She's a harvest goddess. She gives. 
she shares. Um, she is abundance. So this tells me that there's a lot of abundance available today and joy in the abundance that we have already. Maybe a good response to this card would be to make your gratitude list in some way while you're exercising, while you're driving, light a candle, and do, um, do a little litany of the things that are going right in your life. That is definitely stepping into and inviting in the energy of the Empress. I mean, sorry, yeah, the Empress. Um, and that is where our joy comes in today and our innocence comes in today, our availability. I suppose that receptivity and availability are closely connected. Um, this is a really great balance of fire and water here, of yin and yang. These are some very yin stones. Agates come in different colors and some of them are not as yin, but um, I love it that it's sort of pulled up the things that will balance and temper um, so that so that we can experience the the healing of the blue agate today in the the um, open exploration in the body, the healing of the body, um, in going through oh, kind of like our being led by the fiery parts of our personalities in order to um, learn patience. <laughs> Interested how that will come up. And then um, enjoy just uh, the receptivity and, and being available to the sense of bounty that is already there. Lovely spread for today. Thank you for joining me. I am Raven again. I would love for you to subscribe and comment and share this with your friends. That would be the best thing possible. Um, many thanks and have a blessed, beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.